Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Aspire Global Leadership video. My name is Isaiah, and I am a certified youth speaker, coach, and also a disc trainer. For those of you that are new to this YouTube channel or are even new to my podcasts, welcome. Today's topic, um, sorry, today's topic will be about taking risks. Today I'm going to share with you two types of two types of people. You have the risk takers and you have the ones who stay in their comfort zone and don't take risks. Today I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can take how you can correctly take risks and I want to ask you one question by the end of this video and podcast. Are, are you a risk taker or are you the type to stay in your own comfort zone? If you're the type to stay in your comfort zone, own comfort zone, today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to step out of your comfort zone and take risks. Successful people take risks to get out of, um, of like obstacles. The ways that they that people will take risks, some people will take risks in life choices. Some people will even take risks in negotiations. Some will take risks in making videos or even asking out someone to be in a relationship. Am I right? But that's not the point. People take risks in order to get something. Some people, the people that don't take risks don't get what they want because they don't take the action steps to move forward. So today I have with to share with you a few points on why that is and how you can get out of that. And I'm gonna share with you the difference between risk takers and people who try to stay in their own comfort zone. So the first point I have to share with you is increased that you build self increased self confidence. Emotionally, risk emotionally risk activities like public speaking can lead to positive outcomes where you gain new confidence. For me, I was the type to stay in my own comfort zone and not not move forward. During COVID, that was one of the biggest things. I didn't want to podcast. I didn't even want to really do much, even public speaking. And so most my schedule would be watch TV, do my laundry, wash dishes if it's my day and all that stuff. But when you step out of your comfort zone and take the risks, you can move forward with your goals. For me, public speaking was me stepping out of my comfort zone. Taking the, the action step of taking a risk has helped me to be where I am right now. I can tell you right now, if I was not taking, a, if I did not take that risk to become a, a podcaster and public speaker, I can tell you one thing. I would not be right here right now. Public speaking has changed and transformed me in many ways. Take, if you learn to take risks in life, you'll get what it is that you are trying to achieve in life. So find what method works for you. Find that method and then take that risk. All right? For me, public speaking was the way. It helped me to gain confidence and it even helped me to gain confidence in how I interact with others and even how I, and it also helped me to change how I hold myself because I took a risk that changed, transformed my life drastically. My second point to share with you all is to find new skills. By going outside of your comfort zone, whether that be sports, public speaking, art, 
or even um, podcasting or recording a YouTube channel. All of this stuff right here is how you take risks. This can also help to improve your abilities. And this also leads to boost self-confidence. Right now, I can tell you, I am not scared of recording this video. I can guarantee you, if I was where I was before without this experience, I would probably be scared of recording this video. But I took the risk. Are you willing to take the risk? We're going to find out at the end of this video. The next step, step that I have is to develop a system for assessing a risk. The first place to start when weighing a risk is writing it down. Find a notebook or even my, or even a, a calendar or chalkboard. I have a calendar and chalkboard in my room. And I, on my chalkboard, I write down my mind map on one half and then what I have to do within the week. But we're getting off the point. Write down what it is to take a risk and then figure it out, figure out what you're willing to do to get to point from point A to point B. Because taking a risk sometimes has its pros and cons. By looking at positive and negatives, you can see side by side and access whether that risk is worth taking. If you want to become a doctor, you can choose to cheat or you can choose to lose a few friends here and there by studying so that you can get to be becoming a doctor. That is for you to find out. For me, cheating is not the best thing. If you grow up cheating, if you grow up cheating, you're also cheating yourself because you can gain experience from making mistakes. We, when we make mistakes, we learn from those mistakes and we move past that and never make that mistake again. If you do make that mistake, then you need to change something. Second point is to move past the fear of failure. Obsessing over a worst case of failure or the scenario that you could forego is going to hold you back from achieving your goals. How about you start by figuring out what it is that you are afraid of and try to slowly take, take action steps to build that confidence so that when you are ready to take a risk or take, make the choice to do something, you know it's something you're positive about. Because failure is really going to hold you back. If you think that whatever you're doing, you're going to fail, your subconscious mind is going to absorb that thought. And then that's all that you can think about. Oh, I'm gonna be, I want to become a doctor, right? But oh, I'm going to fail. I already know I'm going to fail. I always fail. That's where you're wrong. Because you thought you were going to fail even before getting to studying that goal or even trying to move up the ladder or the stairs, you, you, um, you held yourself back from achieving greatness. The fourth step that I have to share with you all is to find ways to take a um, incremental risk. The first time you dive into a new endeavor, you may not want to put too much, too much, um, too much on the line. Like let's say you're starting a, a restaurant. You're gonna start off small. Nobody's gonna know you that well, but you're gonna start off sm small. Like for me, I'm starting off small but I'm taking the action steps to progress. Sometimes you have to be willing to put more on the line than just a small amount. Now, let's say it's a business. Some people won't be willing to invest their time, all their time, because they have 
a job that they have to go to. What if I told you that if you put more on the line, there, there's if depending on what it is, you'll be able to see more. You'll be able to see much more, um, a better response than not putting so much on the line. When you put more on the line, you know that you actually have to work hard because you just put so much on the line. And if you don't work hard enough, then that money is going to waste. Am I right or am I right? My next step to share with you all is to seek out advice from a calculated from calculated risk takers. You may know people in your daily life who overcome their own fear. Like, um, like have you ever seen that movie, Teledega Bald Nights? Uh, the main character in the movie, um, his car flipped over while he was racing, right? And he was left traumatized from that. But he overcame that fear because he, he had people that were that were able to give him advice. And he accepted the advice. Sometimes you need to seek out, in certain situations, you need to seek out help, whether that's from a friend or even a therapist. Have you seen Monk? Monk gained valuable tips from his therapists, therapists, plural. You need to watch Monk, all right? But anyways, you need to find advice that is going to be able to help you in making valuable risk factors. Some people you want to ask that have, that have experience from taking risks, like um, Elon Musk. This wasn't a, really a risk for him, but... He did you fun fact, did you know that he created PayPal? And he sold PayPal and all that money he invested in Tesla. That right there is taking a risk. Take a risk and you will see profit. Thank you all for listening to this podca podcast and watching this video. And I really, really hope you gained valuable tips. And I really hope that you can implement these. Thank you.